Hi, and welcome to episode 34 of the Sky Who Sews podcast. This is my weekly podcast where I share my quilting adventures. I would like to welcome both new and returning viewers to the channel, and I hope you do enjoy today's episode. If you are new, I would love it if you would um, just write a small note in the comments and just introduce yourself and say hi, because I always love hearing from all of my viewers, especially new ones. So let's go ahead and get started with our works in progress. This week has been fairly busy and I did a lot of testing on my quilting and so forth so I didn't get a whole lot of progress done on the works in progress but I was able to get some work done on the scrappy diamond. This is one that I've been working on for quite some time, it's been a lot of fun and we're getting close to the end of it so I did get two more rows done and I want to show you those real quick and this is one of them. This has got a nice variety of different prints. Some of these are repeated from previous rows, but um, I'm using scrap 2.5 inch squares, so we are going to have some repeats. But I think once it's put together in the final quilt, no one's ever going to really notice. And once these two are attached, I mean, it may be very, very close to being actually completed, because this is just a sneak peek of the completed quilt. I believe there's seven rows on here already, and putting these last two on there may make it long enough to complete that so keep your eyes open in future episodes and hopefully we'll be able to show this as a finished object very very soon let's go ahead to our week in review for anyone that is new here this is just something i do every week it's just little snippets um little clips that i do during the week of me sewing and some other stuff so i hope you enjoy <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the week in review video if you did and you're enjoying the video so far i would love it if you'd hit that like button it definitely helps me know that you're enjoying the video and also helps youtube know that you guys are enjoying it and helps grow this little family last week i asked you guys about whether you had a piece of fabric or different fabrics that there's too yummy or that you haven't found a found a use for i got a lot of great responses and i thank you each and every one of you that did because it's always great hearing your answers to these questions so this week's question, I was thinking about it, as I was digging through some of my fabric, I found some of the coffee fabric that I showed you guys a few weeks ago. And so that got me thinking, and I just wanted to know what your favorite hot drink is. Do you enjoy coffee, tea, do you like lattes, cappuccinos, anything like that? So let me know what your favorite hot drink is. It's always interesting to me because um, I haven't done it in a while, but I was a barista for quite some time in the past, and I actually helped a friend of mine set up a cat cafe, um, cafe side, a couple of years ago which I thought was really really neat to do that experience. So in case you missed it, yesterday I had my regular live Brecky with the guy who sews and I know it's early for a lot of you guys but I appreciate each and every one of you that show up um, at 8 a.m. Eastern or whatever time it is in your time zone. I know it's really early for the folks on the west coast and I am going to try and work out something where I can do something once in a while a little later in the day so you guys can join in the live as well we're at having to hop up at five o'clock in the morning but yesterday i had a very special guest um one i've been very excited to have for quite some time fallon from so be it quilts she was one of the first youtube quilting channels that i watched back last year and i just love her channel and all the stuff she does her reviews her tutorials they're all fantastic so if you haven't had a chance to check out her channel please do so it's a wonderful channel she does a great job 
and I had a blast um, hanging out with her yesterday and showing and she showed us how to make um, a quilt block that she made herself it's called the rockin block and I'm gonna put a picture of up here um, of the block I made yesterday so definitely check it out if you missed it so upcoming videos Hopefully on Tuesday I'll be able to show you clue 7 of the So Sweet Puzzle Mystery Quilt by Cotton Cuts. I haven't put it together yet, but it only takes me about 45 minutes. So hopefully I'll be able to put that one out Tuesday for you guys to see. It's always a lot of fun. And then this coming Saturday we had to reschedule. Um, we're going to have on Beth's channel, Goody Goods, um, Courtney from Pieces Love and Quilting, myself and Beth, are all going to join up and have a um, break with the guy who sews on Beth's channel. So um, right now we're thinking about just doing a whip party, just bringing our works in progress together and having a bit of fun for that for a little bit. So I hope to have you join us then. So now it is time to talk about the, my goals for last week. Last week I said I wanted to try and get some progress done on the quilting for the State Fair quilts because it's just under three weeks and that kind of terrifies me a little bit. But, you know, we'll get it done even if it's a mad rush at the end. So I haven't actually done any physical quilting on it yet, but I wanted to test some of the um, quilting that I planned on doing on the Sweet Treats blocks, and I'm really glad I did. What I originally envisioned was going around the edge of the ice creams, and so I tested this, and I mean, it, it looks okay, but I was not happy at this. So I'm, I'm abandoning that idea, and I'm going to do the waffle on the cones itself, which I thought looked really nice. And then on the popsicles themselves, I did some, just some basic lines, I mean I know they're not spaced perfectly, but this was just a test just to see how it looked, and I'm really happy with that, so I think what my plan is going to be with the Sweet Treats quilt, is to do the lines like so on the popsicles, and then do the waffles, and then do stitch in the ditch, and then call it a day. I don't want to over complicate that quilt, I think it's going to look really nice um, visually, even with minimal quilting. And then I also want to get clue 7 of the Puzzle Mystery Quilt done, if at all possible. I'd love to get started on the Somber Quilt, but that might be asking us a bit too much. And then I also need to get started fairly soon on the um, block swap that I'm doing. It's also called Sweet Treats, but to save myself confusion, I'm going to call those the Popsicle Swap Blocks. So I have a lot on my plate, but I love my, my quilting and my sewing time, so whatever I can get done will be great. So some of my future plans for the rest of 2022, I just wanted to go over this real quick. Since some of my quilts are finishing up, I've talked about doing the Somber Quilt, but I've also want to work more for my stash um, for the remainder of 2022 wherever possible. I know not going to the fabric stores is really not going to be an option. We're going to need fabric for something, but wherever I can work for my own stash, I would like to. One of the things I pulled out the other day was a fun thing that I picked up at the Mid-Atlantic Quilt Show back in 2019, and it was called the Circle Star Block, and it's a antique block that was made, like, adapted from the 1800s, and I think this looks really nice, and the nice thing about it is it comes with the templates on how to make it, so these are, like, the little pieces that you just trace out, and it makes putting all these circular pieces together um, a whole lot easier. Let me show you these real quick. And I made a test block quite some time ago, and it's not completely finished, but it turned out really, really nicely. And I am horrible with circles, and this made it really, really easy. Um, it is done by Anne Colt Quilting. I'll put her link in the description below if you're at all interested. I think I paid about $30 for it. It may be a little more now. Um, but yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. And I might show um, like some you know, time lapses or something like that of me using that in the future. The next quilt I'd like to start on at some point this year is the um, Simplified Hunter Square, um, which I have actually made before for a um, for my op, for my manager who retired a couple of years ago. I made it an all purple, but I'd like to make the block again, like the quilt again, but using the Alice in Glass fabrics that my good friend sent to me a few months ago, and these are just some of the beautiful fabric that she sent me. Um, Valerie Martinez from over in California. I thought these would look really nice together. <laughs> with the Hunter's Stars, so what what do you guys think about that? Let me know, and I, so that's something I want to do fairly soon. And then finally, um, I want to put together once, you know, each week I make something with the lives, you know, different blocks, and I thought it'd be fun to make like a, a scrappy quilt with all of those blocks together. So as a recap, what I've done so far this year is the Cactus Blocks, and when, you know, I was talking about testing earlier on, sometimes you have to make several of them to make it right. 
So here we go. And then the um, sailboat blocks that I did with Stephanie. And then the FPP I did with Beth and Courtney. And then my poor legless emu that will have legs at some point in the future. And then my freezer people applique. So I think, you know, once I get a few more blocks together, I'm going to put that into like a, maybe a small wall hanging or something like that. Because I think it'd be fun to see the progression of the different things that I've done in the lives. So that's kind of what I have planned for the um, coming months. I hope you enjoy those things and look, um, you know, look forward as much as I do to seeing these come together. And I actually do have one finished object I'd love, love to share with you guys today. Yesterday I did do the live with Fallon and I put a few of the blocks together. My intention was to make a wall hanging about the size of the pinwheel one behind me. So I want to change that every so often, maybe seasonally, just so you guys have something different to look at. I have something different to look at throughout the year. So I put four of the rocking blocks together into a nice wall hanging and this is how it turned out and I just love it and I think it's going to look really nice once it's quilted and bound and then that way I can hang it up there and have something different to um, you know, decorate my room. So that pretty much concludes the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I always love hearing your comments. So um, definitely drop me a comment. And if you liked it, hit the like button, share with a friend, and we'll see you on the next video, which will hopefully be on Tuesday. Have a great week and happy sewing. Bye.